so uh, let me quickly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Dmitry Barushnikov and I'm working uh, for IT some field uh, more than 15 years already. So through my career, I was uh, working in the implementation and consultant projects, uh, mainly working with the uh, BMC software uh, products like uh, Remedy IT SM Suite. And today I will be actually telling you some uh, up-to-date approaches uh, on the example of BMC and uh, giving you some idea about the real life uh, use case. Uh, the use cases uh, that uh, BMC can cover maybe uh, a little bit better than uh, other uh, software on the market. So uh, what I wanted uh, to tell you about today is the scalability. Uh, capabilities of uh, BMC, uh, how can we actually proceed uh, using it, applying it uh, to the real customer needs. So uh, the key features of uh, BMC Remedy ITSM Suite or BMC Helix ITSM Suite, uh, there was some marketing changes recently. Other integration capabilities, uh, high load and uh, uh, scalability. So, uh, three main approaches to scalability uh, are the performance, uh, functions, and integrations. So, the performance capabilities in Remedy is maybe uh, one of the biggest outcomes that could be achieved by the users with uh, like hundreds and thousands of uh, multi concurrent uh, connections uh, from the user side, both from the support and uh, uh, customer uh, users. So, uh, two main approaches from BMC are going horizontal and going to the cloud as well. And combining this uh, through integrating them, exchanging the tickets through various interfaces provided. Uh, so, Going horizontal means like uh, we having uh, the three layers like uh, web tier layer, uh, application level and uh, the database level. And each of these levels BMC was designed initially to uh, scale uh, on each level, adding uh, just hardware, both on on-premises or on cloud premises and uh, thus adding uh, the capability to hold the multiple hundreds and thousands of connections. This is the real life example for 1500 uh, connections at one of the customer. This will be the use case that I will be uh, telling you about at the end of the presentation. And uh, uh, you can see that they're combining the uh, on-premises installation and uh, some uh, services uh, deployed in Azure, in Microsoft Azure, which uh, was actually found very economical and uh, performance-wise also uh, very fast uh, from the customer side. So, uh, the next approach is for integrations. And in regards to integrations, we are talking about two things that we really need when deploying uh, the really big ATSM solution. These are the batch uh, integrations, which would allow us uh, to uh, import uh, some big loads of data on the regular basis, on the scheduled basis. Uh, and another one is real-time integrations uh, with uh, the external systems uh, in regards to our ITSM solution. And uh, the last one is uh, the robotic process automation, RPA, which is very popular uh, topic nowadays and uh, BMC actually uh, develops it uh, very fast. So for batch integrations, uh, uh, BMC uses uh, the a very good tool uh, based on the open source uh, Pentaho suite, which allows uh, to create the visual models and uh, import various uh, numbers of data. But it is uh, nothing uh, very special. It's long time. It's very robust. Uh, what I could, what I wanted to uh, emphasize 
is the new things which are in the real time integrations. So uh, BMC uh, in the recent versions, last year it started, introduces uh, the new, the so-called BMC Helix integration platform, which is based on the Jitterbeat uh, engine and allows uh, to use the pre-developed, uh, the ready-to-use connectors, and to develop uh, using the Visual Studio, uh, the, the custom connectors. So here you can see like the number of uh, popular services that are already uh, can be integrated uh, with the BMC Helix platform in the cloud. And uh, here is like the number of connectors that are uh, provided uh, out of the box with the new Remedy installations. I think this presentation will be available later on and following the link uh, down this slide, you could have a better uh, idea technical wise with more details about uh, how this works. So uh, the main thing is that this is new. This is uh, quite popular and Jitterbeat is very well known on the market platform and BMC starts to uh, work with them intensively to provide uh, the seamless uh, interactions uh, using uh, BMC Remedy ITCM suite uh, to pass the data real time, real quick, uh, both ways. I mean, this is bi-directional capabilities. And uh, sure, we should mention uh, the developing with each version the REST interface up to date, uh, which uh, actually adds and probably will replace eventually the historical SOAP web services interface, which is allowing also to create the new uh, integrations, new connections uh, with Remedy with all kinds of uh, external system from the like uh, very well known services like various monitoring systems like uh, BMC Zone, TrueSight, uh, like uh, other ITSM solutions, agile solutions like Gyro service now, etc. Well, and adding support uh, for some not so very well known or probably in-house built solutions uh, that also hold uh, these uh, interfaces inside. So REST is actually uh, the future for BMC and also I will uh, touch uh, the REST capabilities a little bit further on during uh, my slides. So the third stone of uh, the capabilities uh, development that I wanted to emphasize uh, is the capabilities. So we are talking about functional capabilities here and uh, as uh, we are talking about ITSM solution and uh, it should be ITIL compliant. And actually BMC was always uh, very well known uh, to be like certified, not only compliant, but officially certified uh, by various authorities to be uh, compliant to the latest uh, versions of uh, ITIL best practices approach and uh, recently they recertified to be ITIL v4 compliant uh, with Pink Elephant, very well known uh, ITSM consulting agency that uh, certifies uh, the various software tools uh, for the ITIL compliance. So following the Pink Elephant uh, site, you can check actually the software suits and the processes that BMC was able to be certified. Well, uh, but it is a known fact that to be compliant out of the box is like 99.9% uh, of the cases is not that could uh, suit uh, the customer's needs. We really need to uh, develop uh, the customizations. And what was very well uh, implemented uh, in regards to customization um, some long time ago by BMC, that is a cogless uh, customization uh, using the uh, Visual Studio, the so-called Developer Studio, BMC Developer Studio tool, uh, was actually supporting only their historical legacy uh, interfaces, which I would refer on the following slides. Uh, and uh, 
we are in 2020 and for sure it is not uh, suits uh, the customer's needs and also the UI uh, was already feeling uh, a little bit historical. So what uh, BMC uh, added first of all in regards to capabilities uh, and following the cloud uh, as well as on premises they for sure add uh, this uh, configuration management capabilities because if you're having the ITSM, uh, the incidents, changes, uh, assets uh, is not what you uh, need 100% of the time if uh, you if your operations are all manual. So you need uh, the discovery tools that are able to control your uh, infrastructure and your software uh, automatically, filling your CMDB and uh, creating the relationships uh, with your services and with your incidents, etc., etc., giving you the ability to uh, see the up-to-date uh, picture of your environment. So here we have this BMC Remedy Service Management Suite on the left uh, in on-premises environments, BMC Discovery as well, uh, fully integrated with it, filling the same DB. And to the right, we have uh, the modern BMC approach uh, from the BMC cloud, also able to uh, be deployed in Amazon and Azure clouds, depending on the customer's uh, premises. Uh, as uh, I mentioned a couple of slides before, this uh, real life customer of us, of ours, was able to use their Azure, Microsoft Azure premises. Uh, so they had uh, actually the contract with Microsoft uh, to, so they paid for infrastructure and they were able to deploy uh, BMC Remedy in this uh, Azure infrastructure. And uh, they are still using uh, BMC uh, Remedy on their premises and they're fully integrated uh, bi-directional. So this is like, very good approach and uh, th this is what uh, BMC suggests to follow uh, these days with their up-to-date versions and uh, also they are introducing uh, this uh, containerized approach uh, which I think will be uh, uh, gaining the more and more popularity at the customers using the Docker and Kubernetes technologies uh, to be even more flexible when uh, deploying uh, the uh, different versions, different environments, uh, especially when you are customizing. So giving more flexibility uh, for the um, customers uh, dealing with the DevOps uh, approach, uh, the modern world, uh, like having uh, your uh, ITSM software up to date according to the customer's environments. So uh, uh, this is in short uh, what is actually supported uh, by BMC. I won't stay uh, on this for long. Uh, this slide is uh, only for uh, uh, out of uh, our real time uh, speech approach. This is just for analysis. Uh, I think you will be able to uh, see the video or to, or to see the slides later on. So also in regards to ITL before, what was done, but uh, what I wanted to uh, say now before um, we are able to uh, actually uh, talk about the real use case, the very new approach uh, from BNC in regards to customizations. I was telling you about this legacy historical interface. You can see like this, well, frankly speaking, doesn't belong to 2020. And uh, BMC now, uh, not now, like five years ago, uh, understood that. And they introduced uh, their modern interfaces in uh, developed for the modern browsers, HTML5 based, now Flash, uh, the so-called Smart IT, for the support users and the so-called MyIT or DWP, Digital Workplace Platform, uh, and user customer portal. So two very modern web applications, which sadly were had very 
uh, low customization capabilities. Then th that's when actually ServiceNow started uh, to gain popularity because uh, they were much more uh, supporting uh, the customizations while staying in the cloud. Uh, but ServiceNow still required a lot of uh, code uh, creation capabilities from the uh, support uh, guys, uh, from the developers. And uh, so BMC was hearing. And uh, now they are adding the REST interface to their legacy mid-tier uh, platform, which actually uh, give you this uh, screen, uh, which can be developed in Visual Studio in which you're using the what you see is what you get approach. But now they're adding to this the REST and uh, progressive web application support. So what was looking like this? Uh, using this visual tool, like you see, you're creating the form, uh, but you will be getting this one automatically. And you see this screen in the developer studio is actually uh, already uh, very well maintained, but for progressive web application, this field alignment is not uh, very important. So you're just following the so-called panel approach. You create the panels on the screen, like uh, the panels will be the uh, containers for the fields, and you just bring the, the fields uh, without alignment maybe, so it's actually, uh, if you don't need to hold uh, this legacy interface uh, in place, uh, you even can don't need necessarily to uh, take care of the field alignment because the progressive web application aligns this field according to the panels automatically. And uh, actually in the latest version, 2008 of uh, BMC ITSM suite, they already uh, have uh, some of the legacy interfaces, uh, let's say for incidents and for work orders, uh, already prepared, pre-deployed pre uh, for progressive web applications. But that's not the case. The case is that you are able now to customize it and even to create the custom applications. And we know a lot of uh, uh, customers, uh, our customers and uh, also the other consultancy firms that uh, will really enjoy uh, these capabilities to uh, bring the legacy uh, UIs uh, that are still used uh, to this new PWA approach. And what's most important is that uh, this one will be automatically supported not only in the desktop browsers, but on the tablet and uh, on the uh, mobile devices on the smartphones uh, browsers as well. So this actually provides us uh, with a much, much more robust approach uh, to development of new capabilities, including completely 100% custom functions using using uh, the old uh, good uh, developer studio and also uh, like the experience uh, in regards to the engineers uh, to remedy engineers who are on the market uh, but couldn't use their potential uh, to bring the modern ui to the beam ctsm software so uh, finalizing uh, my speech i just want to give you the idea of what was uh, delivered uh, with the real customer. Uh, this is actually uh, the Russian case. Uh, we have two biggest customers in Russia. One in the retail field, which I will uh, tell you in more details, and another one even bigger uh, with the banking sphere. And both are actually the biggest players on the market. One is the biggest uh, Russian bank, another one is the biggest retail. Both are holding around uh, 15, 20 hundred of uh, concurrent uh, support users. Uh, I mean, who resolve the incidents, the technical support users, and uh, also multiple uh, hundreds and thousands uh, connections uh, to the service portal. The people who uh, actually need support. So these are really uh, high loaded environments uh, comparing to the other ITSM cases and uh, uh, they are working actually 
across multiple time zones uh, using the follow the sun approach. So this one uh, was uh, for the Russian uh, Magnet uh, retail uh, network, which is number one food retail chain in Eastern Europe. So we have more than 20 million customers visiting the stores, uh, like uh, more than 20,000 uh, stores uh, in, uh, well, several hundreds of uh, cities and uh, almost uh, like 300,000 of employees working. What's also important that uh, this solution at Magnet is used not only for the IT services, but for all the services. Let's say they're using the service portal in uh, their retail stores to uh, report the incidents uh, with their uh, retail equipment, with everything that's happening. And the main challenge for that was uh, like several years ago, two, three years ago, when they had uh, already uh, around 100,000 of service consumers, which were 70% of the time uh, reporting the incidents uh, with uh, various informal uh, ways, various informal channels, calling the phones, uh, dropping the emails, uh, like uh, using uh, these legacy interfaces. And uh, this was uh, very, very informal most of the time. Uh, a lot of requests were processed uh, with the delays, breaking SLAs, etc., etc. So it was really uh, providing some of the time the poor service quality for the guys. And so they started to uh, think what to do. They approached us and uh, they asked us for the single point of contact, mobile devices support, uh, well, the search capabilities uh, and uh, some automat automatization and etc. etc. And uh, at the end of the day, we were able actually to deliver them this complete uh, solution with the modern BMC interfaces uh, with uh, Remedy ITCM suite as the core solution using uh, this uh, horizontal capability that I was showing you before. Remember the slide in the beginning with the architecture. So different uh, premises, on-premises, uh, cloud premises in their Azure, uh, um, Azure segment. Uh, we were providing uh, them with this uh, MyAT or DWP service portal on mobile devices as well. Uh, also the process things were done, like uh, this MyAT solution provides you with the capability to scan the barcodes. Uh, but for that, you need to generate the barcodes for all your assets. And uh, they were able to do that. And uh, now if you're entering uh, some room and there is some equipment uh, which should be reported, I mean, the incident on it should be reported, they just scan the barcode and automatically the corresponding service form will uh, go out and uh, they fill it in no time, uh, very fast using the templates. And uh, like you see, these days, uh, the this service portal became the only uh, way to receive uh, the approaches. And they were um, gradually declining the number of requests uh, to be served via other sources, especially via email. And at the end of the day, five millions uh, and uh, like more than five millions of requests through two years. Uh, return of investments was actually uh, calculated accurately through 11 months and uh, they were able to uh, lower the number of reassignments uh, between the support groups by 30% and uh, made it by half the request lifetime actually. And they're really implementing this survey approach they are asking for the feedback from the customers and they're really uh, having this 72 percent satisfaction rate they are claiming so this is really really good uh, interesting thing and what most important uh, you can approach every uh, single retail store even the smallest one in all the cities there's uh, retail food uh, is operating ask the guys hey show us your service portal they will show 
uh, with joy, which is actually very interesting. That they're really proud of it and uh, they're enjoying these capabilities. And finalizing my speech, I can say that using this new approach by, for customization should actually uh, bring to this solution even even more capabilities because uh, at the moment they are really uh, having very good process approach uh, there uh, they have very good managers that are able to hold the customer's requirement uh, so minimizing uh, the customizations uh, trying to adjust the processes but with uh, simplified uh, customization capabilities, they will be able uh, to bring even more uh, requirement satisfaction uh, from the customer side. So we are looking at this uh, bright future with uh, huge excitement and looking in very, very big uh, changes uh, like next year, I think, next half year with every new version from BMC. So this is what I was uh, trying to tell you about, like uh, BMC capabilities wise uh, is one of the best, but uh, some of the guys on the market are uh, approaching, but performance wise and uh, also development wise, I think this is uh, like number one and uh, still holds the line. So if you need to bring uh, some ITSM capabilities to the customers with hundreds and thousands of concurrent connections, then definitely you should have a look at uh, BMC these days. Thank you so much for your life, for your um, time, and I'm ready to ask your questions. If uh, there are any, please. Okay. Dimitri, thank you for your presentation. Uh, it was uh, excellent, uh, the explanation of the possibilities and solution for today's. Uh, we have, I see two more minutes and two questions. Uh, one of them is, uh, what is the, what are the standard possibilities to connect the remedy uh, with different ITSM tools? Uh, so uh, this is an uh, excellent question. And uh, we're using different approaches, uh, like these are the email capabilities. We have uh, like the inbound rules, uh, the email rules uh, capabilities uh, to uh, create the emails, uh, to transfer them into incidents inside, and also pass out uh, the email notifications based on that rules to external systems. But more modern approach will be for sure using the uh, native Java API, and uh, what's, uh, in my opinion, more robust uh, today is uh, using REST interface. So we are having the REST consume capabilities uh, and also we can address uh, the external REST services and the external systems, making uh, is possible to communicate in real time as external systems using the REST interface. But I mean, emails, uh, SOAP web services, uh, some a little bit outdated, but still very viable approach. And uh, Java API creating uh, the connectors is uh, very possible. And also that slides that I was uh, showing you about this new integration platform using Jitterbit uh, in the middle, like the middleware, is also um, very modern approach. And also because you have a very big number of connectors. Yeah, that's it. 